Hey everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today we just reached 1000 subscribers. I'm so overwhelmed by your kind comments and your support. I will keep making best tutorials for you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Today in this tutorial we will be learning about how to create cinematic reveal animation in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome right? Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition. I will name it a cinematic reveal. Width is 1920 and the height is 1080. 25 frames per second. 15 second duration. Click OK. Now we will import our stock photo to our project panel like this. Drag it to the timeline. Now we have our logo with no background. Create a new solid, and make sure its color is black. Click OK. Place the solid below our logo like this and lock it, so we don't have to worry about moving this layer by accident. Again create a new solid, same as before the color is black and click OK. Now we have our black solid above our logo. If I play it, as you see nothing is happening. Press T on your keyboard, to bring the opacity and keyframe it at the very first frame. Take the time indicator to 6 second, and change the opacity to 0. It will create a keyframe automatically, if I play it. Now we created that reveal animation. But as you see it's not that realistic. To give more depth to the animation, duplicate the solid layer by pressing Ctrl D. Press U to display the keyframes. Drag the first solid to the right side like this. Extend the layer by dragging it to the left like this. Again duplicate the solid and drag the second solid layer to the right like this. Now align this all three layer keyframes like a slope. Let's play it. That looks perfect. As you see, now our animation now have, that depth reveal to it. We will now animate our logo. Select the logo layer and press P on your keyboard to bring the position. If you don't see these boxes like this, press this toggle icon to change it. Press the last box like this, it will change your layer to 3D. Take the time indicator to the beginning and keyframe the position like this. Push the log go in the Z space like this. Place the time indicator on the last keyframe, and change the position back to zero. If I play it, That looks good. You can send the log go further in the Z space if you want. Right click on the last keyframe, and go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. It will give us that smooth animation.
Now finished making our intro, it's time to add that shining effect. Place the time indicator at the end of the keyframe like this. Now go to the effects and presets panel and type in CC light. Drag the CC light sweep effect to our logo layer like this. In the effects control panel, place the light sweep like this. Change the shape to sharpen the direction is minus 30 degree. Decrease the width like this. Increase the intensity of the sweep and edge. Increase the edge thickness also. Make sure the color is white. And the light reception is in the ad. Go to the effects on our logo layer, and go to the light sweep effect. Keyframe the center and drag it to the left like this. Place the time indicator at 1 second interval, and drag the center to the right like this. If I play it, that looks super awesome. Right click on the last keyframe and select Easy Ease. That looks better. Let's play it from the beginning. Now we created this cool intro with shining effect. We will add some camera movement to the animation, to give it more dynamic look to it. Right click on the log goal air and select pre-compose. We don't want our keyframe inside of our pre-compose, so select the leave all attributes. I will name it as DC logo. Click OK. Double click on the pre-compose log goal layer. Now we can add some camera movements to it. Right click and select camera. I will name it as camera 35 millimeters. Make sure the camera is 35mm with 2 node. Click OK. Again right click, and create a new null object. Select the 3D icon on both the null and logo layer like this. Take the pick web from the camera layer and place it on the null layer like this. Now our camera layer is parented to our null layer. Select the null layer and press P on your keyboard, to bring the position like this. What it means is parented. If we move our null layer then our camera will also move. This way we can create that cinematic camera movements. Now keyframe the position of the null, and bring the camera a little further from the log go like this. Take the time indicator to 6 second, and increase the Z space of the null position like this. If I play it. That looks good. Right click on the last keyframe, and change it to Easy Ease. Now go to the main composition and play it.
That looks amazing. Now we finished creating our intro. Select the logo layer and press U on your keyboard to bring the keyframes. Drag the light sweep keyframes little to the right like this. Now a light sweep will animate after our logo settled. Let's play it. That's perfect. Now we shall start making the outro. Place the time indicator at 11 second. Select all three solids by holding shift and keyframe it. As you see all the three layers being keyframed, now place the indicator at 14 second and change the opacity back to 100. If I play it, that looks super good. Now we will animate the logo also to give more depth to the animation. Select the logo layer and press P on your keyboard to bring the position. Keyframe it and take the time indicator to 14 second. And send the logo further into the Z space using the position like this. Select this keyframe and by holding control, press on the keyframe to change it back to Bezier like this. Now we created that smooth out row animation. Let's play it from the beginning to see the final output. That's super awesome. We finally created that cinematic dynamic intro animation. Now hide the DC logo layer. Now we will use the Batman logo and animate it differently. Drag the Batman logo to our project panel like this. And drag it to the timeline. Select the DC logo layer and go to the effects control panel and copy the light sweep effect by pressing Ctrl C on your keyboard. Select the Batman logo layer and press the Ctrl V to paste it. As you see, our light sweep animation is pasted on our Batman logo. Let's play it. That looks good, but the light stopped at the edge on the logo. Place the time indicator on the last keyframe and drag the center to the right like this. Now, our shining animation looks perfect. Select the Batman logo layer and press P on your keyboard to bring the position. Change it to 3D layer by pressing on the 3D box. Increase the Z space of the position like this. Keyframe the position and place that keyframe at the beginning of the timeline like this. Place the indicator at the end of the solid keyframe and change the position back to zero. If I play it, that looks good. Highlight this last keyframe and change it to easy ease. Now keyframe the orientation and rotate the logo like this. That looks good. Place the orientation keyframe at the beginning like this. And place the indicator at 6 second and change the orientation back to zero. 
right click on it, and select Easy Ease. Let's play it, and see the magic. Perfect, that looks amazing. Now we created the intro, we can start creating our outro. Place the indicator at the 11 second and keyframe the position. And place it at 14 second and push the log go further into the Z space like this. Select the first keyframe, and by holding control then press on the keyframe. It will change it back to Bezier type. Let's play it. That looks really good. We shall start adding the camera movement, like we did for our previous logo. Pre-compose the Batman logo. Leave all the attributes and click OK. Double click on the pre-composed layer, and create a new 35mm camera. And create a null object. Change the null and logo layer to 3D. Take the pick web from the camera layer and place it on the null layer like this. Press P to bring the position. Keyframe it at the beginning and drag the position to the right like this. Now place the indicator at 5 second, and change the position back to 0. Right click on the keyframe and select Easy Ease. Now we created that cinematic camera movement. Go to the main composition, and see the final project output. That looks super awesome. We finally at the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this tutorial. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.